What's up guys, my name is Jupae64 and today I'm going to show you the new texture animation editor. Okay, so first of all you have to get the last release of my improved version of SM64 DSE. I know that the title is pretty uncreative, but whatever, let's just download it from GitHub, the link is in the description. Okay, after you download it, you should see something like this. Just open this zip file and navigate through it until you find the release folder. Okay, now you can extract this to some place on your computer. Um, I have some folder here. Yeah, it's copying. Great. Okay, and now you can... I recommend you rename it to something like SM64 DSE so you don't get confused. Alright, now you open it and open the editor. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, just hit open ROM and select your ROM. Um, it should be an SM Super Mario 64 DS. ROM. Um, I, cr I recommend using the European ROM, but um, it's not necessary. Only some things require it. Okay, and now you open... Okay, well, I open the general purpose test mode. You may not know this stage if you're new to um, SM64 DS hacking. Um, it's a test map that Nintendo d used for testing purposes. Makes sense, I know. Okay, now you go to texture animations. Okay, maybe I can make this bigger. Okay, you'll see, okay, there is something called area. You don't have to worry about this for now. Just hit create animation data for area. Okay, now it asks for a length. I recommend doing ev anything greater than one, because one is just one frame. You can't do many things in one frame. Okay, um, let's just do um, 61 frames. Don't know why. Just do it. Okay, and now you can see, okay, this level has some textures which all can be animated. That's great, right? Okay, I think this should be the floor texture. Okay, so now we create new animation. Now you see what are these things. These will show the animation values by frame. So you can go through there and yeah, it doesn't do anything because there is nothing set yet. Um, you just go to set keyframes and now we are going to do a simple animation which is like putting this to 1. Alright. And now you can hit play and see oh, it's scrolling over here. That's exactly what we want. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Okay, well, let's just um, hit Generate Animation and Save. Okay. Um, also, save this, because otherwise you won't see any changes. Okay. And now you see this texture is moving. Um, it's the wrong direction somehow. Because it doesn't always do what we want. I don't really know why. But yeah, you see it's scrolling. You see me scrolling. Okay. Yeah, you see it kind of works. Now we are going to castle first floor. This should be familiar to you. I mean, it's the hub where you can select all the levels, you can enter them. <laughs> okay, 
I want to show you this. This is um, new in my improved version. It can show you all the separate areas of the level. Pretty useful. Okay, and we are now going to modify this texture. Okay, so you go to texture animations again and now you see, oh, there are many areas. Yeah, these are all the areas I showed you. So, now you see, oh, that's area 1. So you go to area 1 and create animation data. Yeah, let's do 61 again because that worked great. Yes. Okay, carpet, no. Check out, yes, that's the one. You, of course, can also do um, carpet, but I want to do checker just because I don't know. Okay, now set keyframes and just to show you that you are not limited to doing this, you can also do, for example, this. I recommend scrolling. Oh man, that scrolling is weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's just see what this looks like. Look at this weirdly bouncing texture. Yeah, let, let's just do this. Let's just test it. Okay, so generate animation. And, oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's let's modify the... No, wait. N not the carpet. I don't really like the carpet. The carpet is bad. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, great new animation. And just to show you, it also works for Y. And also for... Yeah, let's just do it for rotation. So, set keyframes. Now, like... Hmm... Okay, you will see that change is pretty minimal. So you can modify the scaling. Three, 360. 360, no scope. Oh, okay, sorry. That was bad. Okay, and now you see you can do this. I know that makes no sense. But I will get somewhere. And if you don't want this anymore, you can just hit delete keyframe, which will, yeah, just undo it, kinda. Okay, set this to 1 again, maybe, yeah. And this one to, maybe this, this one to maybe this, and this one to this, I don't know. Now you will see, oh man, this is causing a headache. But now I want to show you the interpolation. You can just set this to none, and this will create this staircase thing, which does this. Looks pretty interesting, actually. I'm, I'm just going to keep this. So, generate animation. Okay, and now. Let's close this. Oh, there are two files unsaved. Yeah, of course I want to save them. Okay, and now you can already see these changes in game. Oh, and I just realized that I modified this. So that's cool, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this. But this won't tell you if there are any unsafe changes, so always hit save. Hit this, hit it as many times as you can. No, just kidding. <laughs> but you definitely have to hit it. Also, just make sure that it's still working. Yeah, it definitely is saved. Alright, now let's test this in-game. Okay, the rotation seems to work alright. I mean, it's way faster than 
in the editor but yeah and this is diagonal diagonal but yeah it also works just fine let's see what the ceiling looks like awesome I like that just experiment with it Okay, yeah, and now, yeah, one final thing I wanted to show you, a pretty interesting way Nintendo used the texture animations is um, to be found in, uh, well, let's search for it, behind the waterfall, there it is. Okay, so, you now see, okay, this crystal, why are they so shiny or so flickering and crystally in game? I'll show you. Yep, it's a texture animation. Pretty interesting, right? Did you thought that? And just for the sake of completion, I'm going to show you what it looks in here. So you see it's just scrolling, and now you maybe wonder, okay, but it doesn't look like this, it looks like this. These are flat colors. How can that be? Um, that's... Um, it's the way the textures are mapped to the texture is mapped to these faces. It's something about UV mapping. After some research, you will maybe understand, maybe not. I don't really care. Okay, yeah, and that's already it for the tutorial, I guess. Yeah, I hope you liked it and. Maybe you can now create um, new pretty cool texture animations and if so, you can just hit um, record AV or AV, I don't really know what they're called and maybe send them on Twitter with the hashtag texture animations. I would like to see what you've done. Okay, well then Goodbye and maybe see you in another tutorial.